Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffy back with another video. All right, y'all. It is Friday, Friday, Friday for y'all. Right now, it's Thursday for me, but it's TGIF fifth segment of the week, y'all. And uh, I've started this segment about two months ago, and it's kind of starting to pick up uh, a little traction here. So I'm going to keep it going. A lot of people eat fish on Fridays. A lot of people eat fish every day. A lot of people eat fish no matter what. So anyway, uh, today we're going to get kind of fancy, but it's a simple fancy. Y'all know when I get fancy, it's really, really simple. There's nothing difficult about it when I get fancy. Today we're doing some trout manure. All trout manure is, is manure sauce here, not cow manure like M-A-N-U-R-E. It's M-U-I-E-N-E-R-E. -E. I think I spelled it right. That's French. All it is is lemon, juice, butter, some parsley on top of the fish. I'll show you later. It's very simple. Put some butter. Very simple. The first thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to put some little almonds on top too for a little garnish. But I'm going to move this up out the way because we don't need this right now. We're going to get this this uh, trout going. Get my skillet heating up here. Get this up out the way. This butt out the way. I got some beautiful Rainbow trout here now. Beautiful. Fresh in front of the butcher. And one thing about trout, starting in December, I get a lot of trout. Because they start, start stocking. You know the lake that I go through, through by my house? They start stocking them with rainbow trout. What I do, I give me some corn. I soak it in uh, strawberry soda. Strawberry soda water, strawberry pop. And depending on what type of part of town you are. Soak it in that. A whole can of kernel corn. Soak it in strawberry soda. Put it on a little hook, they wear it out. Corn kernels with those trout. So that's a little tip if you ever trying to catch some rainbow trout. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave the head on here for presentation. Most trout you get in the uh, uh, restaurants and stuff, they leave the head on it. All I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clip the little, the little uh, fins off of here. I use my little kitchen shears here. Clip that off there, I don't want that. And I actually did uh, cut this one off. I kind of scaled this one, y'all. I'm going to cut the little tail off here. And that's it. Let me get rid of all these little ends here. I'm going to do the other one the same way, y'all. Cut the tail off there. Cut that little tail over there. Cut this one off. There we go. Now I already washed this one pretty good, y'all. The one right there. Get that off of there. This one all here wasn't that pretty good. But I'm gonna wash it again just in case I didn't get everything off of here. I like to really make sure the fish is really, even though I got it from the butcher, I already cleaned. I washed it when I got home. But I'm gonna wash it again. Make sure I got all them fins and all them scales off of here. I did run it down the scaler with the knife. The other one here. Just pan out. A little ski in there. All right. That's what we're going to do right there. Beautiful trout right there. Now, now the next thing I'm going to do, I got my, uh, Got my heat, skillet heating up. Now all I'm gonna do is gonna be very simple, y'all. Very simple. Y'all know me, I'm simple as it can be. All I'm gonna do is season it with salt and pepper. Kosher salt and white pepper. I don't do nothing to it. I don't put in all this crazy seasoning. Y'all already know. I'm gonna do the inside the cavity. Flip it over and do the other side. In the restaurants, that's all we do to it. That's all you do. Make sure you really season it good with salt and, salt and pepper. That's it. Now, now I'm gonna get my, got my, I'm gonna put me a little butter in my skillet here, and I'm gonna dust this in flour. Now I don't want no excess flour on this when I dust it in flour. Get all the flour. I just want to do that where I get a little crispiness on it when it's cooking. 
gonna put this big boy in there first. We're gonna shake it around in here. Put flour we can on here. Oh, yeah, we should get all in the cavity. Y'all like that old school plate? Look at that. I've had this plate for about 20 something years, y'all. My mama gave me that plate when I moved to Houston. Up there, moved to Houston. Okay, you want to dust all this flour out. That's all you want. See that? Lay it there on the plate. And we're going to do the other one. We now ain't lay it back on the pan. That pan is wet. I don't want to get it and the flour off there. Okay. Do this in the same way, and that's it. See how easy that is? Okay, now, let's go move over here to our skillet, to our frying pan, AKA frying pan. Move it over and move y'all over here. Okay, got my little frying pan there. Now I'm gonna put me some butter. Get my knife back here. I'm using butter today, y'all. Usually I use uh, oil, but this it tastes so much better with butter. This this bit, when you cook it with butter. So butter melting just a little. And believe me, you want to when you're cooking with straight butter, you want to be very careful. The butter will burn on you quick. Butter will definitely burn on you quick. Okay, I'm gonna let that finish in there. Well, it fit in there, huh? Lay the other one in here. I'm going to put a little bit more butter in there let it melt around there. There we go. Now, we're going to let this turn the fire up here. Now, we're going to let this cook about four minutes on each side. We're gonna get a nice crispy skin on it. Four minutes on each side. Let me move to put this here right here and I'm gonna get my pan with my rack. So when it come off, we're gonna put it with the pan with the rack. Right here, we're gonna put it on my pan with the rack. Y'all already know how I feel about that. So, that's the key. So anyway, I'm gonna step off and by the time when I come back and get ready to turn it over, I'm gonna show you the other side. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. Okay, now we're gonna turn this over here. It's been about four minutes. Look at that. Turn that big boy over. I think I need a bigger frying pan, don't it? Don't worry, y'all, I'm gonna finish this sucker in the oven. Turn this one over. Get on over there. Get on over there, there we go. There we go. There we go. Now I'm gonna turn this fire down just a little, y'all. I'm gonna cook it on this side. See how pretty that is, y'all? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece of fish, y'all. Beautiful fish, guys. Like I said, it usually takes about four minutes on each side. And you really gotta watch the temperature because your butter will burn. And I'm using, like I said, I'm using straight butter in this, y'all. Straight butter. So anyway, y'all, I'm gonna cook this about two minutes on here. I'm gonna basically put on a rack, kind of finish it in the oven to kind of mush, push the time along. So we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna put this in the oven here for about two minutes while I make the sauce. All right. Let it cook there a little while I make the sauce. Okay. Next thing I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna make my Manier sauce, which is very, very, very easy, y'all. All it is, butter again. Just like I have, I'm just gonna do a lot of butter today, y'all. A lot of butter today. Let me get rid of this skillet. And we can't use the same butter that we used before because it's too dark. So I'm gonna heat this up. I'm gonna get some butter and put it in the skillet. This manure is very simple, y'all. Very simple. And I'm using salted butter, y'all, so 
So, uh, that's why I'm not putting any salt in it. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let this come to a pretty much heat up and almost like it's supposed to burn. I want it like a, almost like a brown butter. Then I'm gonna hit it with some lemon juice. Once I hit it with the lemon juice, then I'm gonna very then I'm gonna hit it with some parsley, and that's it, y'all. I might add some uh, salt to it, but it shouldn't need any. So let me let this come up to temperature. It's the best way to eat uh, to eat uh, to eat trout, y'all. Like I say, I I have a lot of trout. I'll be catching in the next they cause they stock the part November through as a matter of fact December, January and February at the park by my house where I catch catfish all the time. And like I say, you get you some kernel corn, soak it in some strawberry soda, put it on a little hook, trout love it. They absolutely love it. Okay, let me get this butter here coming up. Let's see how it's coming up to the uh, ball there. All I'm doing, put a little lemon juice to this. Let it continue to come up to a boil. It's so simple, y'all. So simple. This ain't like making lemon butter, which I, lemon butter, you know, I usually I want it to be thick. This I don't want it to be thick. It's gonna be nice lemon, lemony butter. And I'm gonna hit it with parsley right at the end. And this I'm gonna pour all on top of that fish when it come out the oven. I'm gonna let it boil just about a minute. Then I'm gonna hit it with the chopped parsley and that's it. That's it, y'all. Turn it on, hit it with some parsley. That's it. I'm gonna let that sit, just hang out right there. We'll be right back. When I plate up, I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna get the, uh, I'm gonna get the, uh, I can't think, can't talk today, y'all. The trout out of the oven, and I'm gonna pour it right on top of the, I'm gonna plate it up, pour this sauce right on top of the trout. Good old trout manure. Put some almonds on it too. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back. See how pretty this fish is? It didn't take long at all. Look how pretty that is. Nice crispy skin. See that? Now, remember that sauce I made? All it's going to do is pour it right on top of the fish, y'all. Right on top of that fish there. Look at that. Now, to top it off, y'all, I got some almonds, chopped almonds. I like to put it in there just for the like a little, little crunch there. Like a little crunch with the fish. Some little almonds, like a little trout manure with almonds right there. And that's it, y'all. That's all she wrote. So I'm gonna make a little thumbnail. We're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how good this fish gonna be. So I'll be right back. Alright, y'all, we back. Now I know a lot of y'all. This way you was if you would go to a fancy restaurant, y'all. This way you get trout manure. You get the head on it. I know a lot of y'all probably uh, flipping out. Oh, he got the head on there. I can't take the head off if you don't like it. I just did a traditional trout manure and the skin on it. It's very simple. When you eat this, the skin will come right off. See that? The skin will come right off of there. See that? Then you got that nice flaky meat. See this? Look at that. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. I'm telling y'all. Mm. And it's coming right off that bone. And when you take it out, where I eat it, I eat all the way to the bone. Bone right there. See how it come off the bone? Then I flip it over and eat the other half. And all that's left is the bone. You actually don't have to take the bone off. You just eat right off the bone. Nice flaky fish. See that? There's no bones in it, no nothing. That's what's awesome about trout. Cooking it like this. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love me some trout, y'all. It's a real underrated fish. 
I think a lot of people don't know how to cook it. But if you know how to cook it, that's an awesome fish. So anyway, y'all, I just got a little fancy with y'all tonight. Friday night fish of the week. Um, segment. TGIF. What is it? TGIF fish segment of the week. So anyway, close this video out. If you like this video, please share, please subscribe, please uh, comment. Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2021, help somebody, Old School Soul Food. Uh, speaking of that, y'all wondering what I'm going to do with this other fish. This stuff is so good, y'all. I got a neighbor. I always got neighbors that love fish. This, and the thing I like for these almonds, I just can't stop eating right now. I don't want to close the video yet. Mmm. I like with the crunch, the almonds get it. You can use sliced almond, or you can use these slivers. They, they hold up better. But y'all just don't know how good this is. The meat is so tender and juicy. So anyway, remember the hashtag 2021 help somebody old school soul food. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.